Hey guys, Jaws31, and have you guys heard of Quidditch? Not, no, not this sport from Harry Potter where they go flying around on brooms, but Quidditch, the real sport, the real life sport, also known as Muggle Quidditch, that college kids play, that is based off the fictional sport. Yes, um, they recently... They recently renamed it Quadball, so they don't have to get the rights from Warner Brothers to use the name. And it got me thinking, you know, this is actually kind of a cool sport. It's like a mix of Ultimate Frisbee and Dodgeball, with a little bit of rugby in there for fun. And you know what? I think it has potential. I think it has great potential, but the one thing that is stopping it from becoming a truly great self-respecting sport is it's stupid Harry Potterisms and how they continue to try to commit to sticking to the Harry Potter books but today in this video I got some solutions for how Quidditch or now its new name Quadball can become a very cool sport that soon many and many of millions and millions will play and watch for years and decades to come without it being the sport for Harry Potter fans. So, let's get started. Alright, first things first, the names. Uh, yeah, I mean, names doesn't seem like too big of a deal. I mean, how is someone supposed to take your game seriously when you have names like Quaffle and Beater? Like, what? What? So yeah, very, very important. Uh, they already call it quad ball. So we'll keep with that. And we'll call the quaffle the quad ball. Simple enough, right? Um, we'll call the bludgers dodgeballs because that's what they are. And uh, the golden snitch. We'll get to the golden snitch later. Uh, yeah, yeah, we'll get to that later. Uh, but uh, the positions. Uh, keepers and chasers. Uh, these are offense. These are offense, guys. Um, so we'll call the chasers offense. We'll call the keepers the offensive back because they start behind the chasers. Now, I know this doesn't seem as fun, but come on. Like, <laughs> it's sports, man. Like, it's offense and defense. It makes a lot more sense than, than chasers and uh, <laughs> uh, seekers and, I don't know, dumb stuff like that. And, uh... So yeah, Chasers is offense, Keepers the offensive back, and what are the names, Beaters? Yeah, Beaters, they're defense, and uh, we'll get to Seekers later again, the whole Golden Snitch thing. Uh, hoops? You can keep the name of Hoops, and uh, that's it for the names, you really don't have to change much to be honest. And now we're going to get on to the gameplay. First things first. And everybody says this. Get rid of the brooms. Get rid of the broomsticks. They look so stupid. They look so stupid when you're running around trying to play a sport of a broomstick in between your legs. I get you on a role play as Harry Potter, but come on. No one's going to respect you Not when you have a broomstick in between your legs looking like a silly little, silly little guy. Come on, get out of here. So, get rid of them. I don't care about people who say... Well, it's a necessary handicap. It keeps the game fun. If you really want a handicap, just have it a rule that you can't touch the ball with two hands. Okay, get rid of the broomsticks. They're so stupid. Uh, next, the golden snitch. This is going to piss some people off, but get rid of the whole golden snitch thing. I'm sorry, but you need a snitch referee, an extra position, and some guy... Just to run around in a golden snitch costume? This is crazy. You already need like a, like four balls to play the game and six hoops. Now you need to get some guy to play just to be the golden snitch to not have someone. It's so stupid. Like I get everyone wants to have their fun and be like Harry Potter and find the golden snitch. But it's literally like the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen in any sport. So um, to counter this, instead of having the game end, 
or the Gadget Golden Snitch. Just have the game end after 30 minutes. That makes a lot more sense. <coughs> finally, finally, I want to talk about uh, the gender. This is also going to piss some people off, but, um, you know, at first thing, uh, the gender role seems cool. It seems like an interesting thing to have girls and guys playing on the same team, but then you realize it's a contact sport. We, like, we can't have guys or girls tackling each other, okay? So, um, you know, at first, easy solution seems like I just have men's and women's leagues, but let's be real, we're not gonna have enough people playing Quidditch to go, to make multiple leagues, alright, so, um, uh, just have it a rule that you can only tackle people of your same gender. That makes sense, right? That seems fair to not have, like, I don't know, like a giant guy tackling a girl. Yeah, that seems fair. <laughs> But, um, see, you don't have to make much changes to make it a cool sport. But, uh, yeah, that's my variations, which will make quad ball cool and mainstream. So, so Major League Quidditch, Major League Quad Ball, as you would call it now. Let me, uh, change your rules. This will be the greatest sport ever, ever made. More popular than NFL. More popular than baseball. Uh, basketball. Soccer.